been hit, repeat, we've been hit. That was my wife's reaction at our wedding, but she eventually said, all right. Anyway, we've all heard of bridezillas, but our bachelor's getting out of control now, too. How many times have you been invited to be in a wedding, and before you know it, you've got to go to the engagement party, the showers, the bachelor, bachelorette party. It all adds up, and all of a sudden, my velvet last supper edition isn't really cutting it. Now, a new survey shows nearly half of us, we're just fed up with this. We're declining all these pre-wedding invites because of the cost and because we're just sick of the people asking, and we actually hate them for asking. So is it okay to just say no? Hadley and Guy say absolutely. Heath disagrees. Why do you disagree? Because it's a tradition that you have all of these different parties, and you have people coming to celebrate you. Now, I just got married. I was not a bridezilla. I didn't require people to be my bridesmaids, or I did I have all these different parties. But did people, you have your wedding here? Did I did have it here. It was really great, and I had a lot of parties, and people that did come came, and I expected them to be there. My close friends were there. All right, Hadley, what do you make of that? It's just in the eye of the beholder and friend. You know, I really value tradition. I think traditions are very important, but there's a couple trends taking place today that make those traditions harder to keep, and there are new customs that can be costly as well. So for one thing, Americans are getting married later and later. If you're in your late 20s or early 30s, chances are you have more resources. You can afford to go away for a bachelorette weekend or a bachelor weekend with your friends, but you're also maybe more spread out from your friends, and Facebook technology has allowed us to stay closer in touch with people who are far away, but those travel costs sure do add up, and people are at very different places in their life. Some people have young children, makes it harder to get away for the weekend. And these selfish no-goods are, are, are trying to burden them, right? And Guy, now you're a very popular guy with the, uh, men and women and getting invited by your friends to their wedding, and they all want you to cough up. Do you ever tell them, any of them, shut up, enough? I wouldn't put it quite that way, Neil, but sometimes you have to do <laughs> wedding triage because if they start getting stacked up a bunch of weddings in one season, I mean, it's really hard. I'd I had a very good all of them. I, Whatever I was going to spend on one, let's say I'm invited to six weddings, I divide it by six. That's the breaks. Well, you're, you're quite a friend there, Neil, Thank I have you. to say. <laughs> remind, me, remind me to invite you to my wedding at some point. But uh, no, I, I was remembering uh, an example. A few years ago, a very good friend of mine got married. And there was an international bachelor party, out-of-town wedding, airfare, hotels, tuxedo rental, the gift. You add all that up, I'm happy to do it for that buddy. But if there were like two or three weddings I was invited to within a couple of months, you start wondering how many more hits can my wallet take? Yeah. Well, this is the thing. If you are having a wedding and you're inviting everyone out there, might as well make it easier for your guests. Maybe not ask for gifts. That's what we did. We had everyone donate to God's Love We Deliver if they wanted to. So it mitigated the cost of that a little bit. But, you know, we had a, a lot of different parties. Did you keep track of those who actually did? Yes, we did. <laughs> did you remember them? Like, I'm the like, oh, I see you, cheap. No, you know. I wrote them thank you notes. Actually, really? a lot of them were, I didn't know exactly how much they, they donated. But, but you're you, independently extremely wealthy. Uh, I wish okay. that were the case. You say it, Neil, maybe it'll happen. All right, Hadley, is that the way we're going to go, though, that, that we have to at least consider, that is, couples have to consider, the obligations they put on their potential guests? <laughs> Yes, I think so. And you also have to remember that your friendships come first, ahead of your time, ahead of your money. And so there's a lot of ways to be supportive if you're part of a wedding party. If you can't make it to a more expensive event, if you can't pay for a nicer gift, there are ways to show that you appreciate being involved with this very momentous occasion. You can call your friend, text your friend, check in with them all the time, go with them to the dress fitting. I mean, there's a lot of ways sure. to be next to your friend to show your support. Processed meats and cheeses, it's a gift that always keeps giving. <laughs> Guys, thank you very, very much. Meanwhile, do any of you remember the CEO? stuffed himself in an overhead bin. Now a lot of customers have a suggestion. Lock him up and stay in it.